Aries, 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 it looks like you are taking control of a situation because you are not going to allow somebody else to tell you what is right for you. It's very strong. Stay tuned. Hello, Aries. Welcome to your November 2020 reading. We are going to jump straight into it. Okay. So we have the moon. You could be dealing with a Pisces, potentially Cancer, and the world, the world, fixed signs, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, and Scorpio. So Aries, the moon that could be a focus on the blue moon, right? You might have made a decision during the blue moon to put an end to something in your life, to release something from your life that may not have been serving you anymore to release something that may have been a, a big burden to you. Let's find out what the cards say. We have a realization. Look at that, realization, Aries. Realization. My will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. Um, Aries, if you do have Pisces in your chart, because that is a Pisces card, they also got this. Micromanaging the universe. All right. Sacred Fool. Look at that. You totally want a new beginning. Totally, totally, totally. So a realization has occurred during the blue moon or prior to or as a result of. And the realization is that you want to manifest a new beginning, but you do not want just any new beginning. You want a new beginning where you are entirely in control of the movement. You are entirely in control of how to move forward. Perhaps you've had this epiphany moment that now is the time for you to start something new and you're not gonna allow anybody else to deal with the puppet strings and move you forward in their direction. This is a beautiful energy of saying, I'm not conforming to society. I'm not conforming to what other people want for my life anymore. Instead, I am choosing my own direction, my own path. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Strong epiphany during the, the blue moon. All right, let's see what the cards say. All right, we have the Devil, Capricorn, Knight of Voices, Gemini, Cancer, Ten of Wands, or Ten of Inspiration, Sagittarius, Eight of Emotions, Pisces, Page of Inspiration, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Hanged, Hanged Muse is Pisces, Queen of Inspiration, Aries, Pisces, the Empress, Libra, the Four of Wands, Aries, the Seven of Materials is Taurus, and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. All right. So interesting, you have just made a decision to put an end to something. I see the ending here with the Eight of Cups, the walking away. I see the ending here with the Ten of Wands, the releasing of the burdens. Um, this seems to be the internal energy of ending a particular situation. And so the realization appears to have come after the walking away from something. The realization with the page of wands, the page of inspiration. So the top row is internal. The bottom row is what is coming into your life or what physical movement is occurring in your life, right? The realization is internal. The micromanaging of the universe is internal. The ending seems to be internal that's being moved in an external way. And that new beginning, the releasing of the control of anybody else over your life, is also occurring on an internal level that you need to make external, right? So we start out with this card of the devil that could be codependency, addictions, things of that nature. Um, if you've been dealing with any addictions, I feel you're putting an end to them. You're overcoming them. 
you're finding a way past them. You see this moving away from that kind of energy. If you've been dealing with a toxic partner, same thing. You're walking away from the toxic partner. You're walking away from the burdens of the toxic partner. If you've been dealing with a toxic job, you're going out and finding a new one. Walking away from all the burdens associated with that. Choosing a new path. There has been some element of control in your life. With this sacred fool and the, the woman having control of the puppets, there's been somebody who's had control in your life. And that may be this devil energy. Somebody who has been manipulative and controlled your movement, your direction, your choices. I see you're not allowing that anymore. You're saying, forget it. I'm making my own decisions. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. I'm going my own way. And it comes as a result of this epiphany that we see with the realization, the moon, and this energy of the sun shining a light on your forward movement, your internal dialogue, right? And here comes the source of the inspiration and the realization of how to move forward past this energy, how to get control of your own life again, which is beautiful. So the overall energy of the physical movement in your life is out of the Hierophant. So this could involve a, a long-term committed relationship or a marriage, it's possible. Um, it could be that the Hierophant is saying you're working on your own spiritual growth, your own growth and development in your life. Um, you also could be working on a business partnership as well. I see that regardless of whether you are staying in a long-term committed relationship, leaving a long-term committed relationship, staying in a job or leaving a job, or starting something brand new, regardless of what that may be, you have a vision, you have a, a requirement on how that vision plays out, you've had the epiphany moment, and now you can sit in this, in this hanged muse energy saying, I've found my way. I've found my direction. I've found my way forward. I know what it is that I want now because I've taken another look at things. I've looked at things from different perspectives and now I know. I know what I want. I know the direction I want to move in. With this Queen of Wands energy, that's you Aries, two thirds Aries, one third Pisces, that is saying that you have the confidence that you need to have this new beginning and to be able to start this new cycle to feel strong in taking this forward movement towards your own happiness, your own sense of harmony, that you have the confidence that you need to do that. You can take the inspired action to make this change. You have the ability to harness that power within yourself to bring about this new beginning, to have this sense of harmony, connection, and uh, gratitude. Now, with the seven of materials, we need a card on that. The seven of materials is you putting work in and waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. What are you waiting on? What is Aries waiting on with that seven of materials? Ooh. All right. Well, these both came up reversed. The emperor and the six of wants. So this tells me that there has been a time in your life where you have dealt with a manipulative person and it's almost like you're waiting for this new, this manipulative person to have their fall. Um, not that you would wish any ill will on anybody, nor would I with this, these particular cards, but you want this person to make a change, to make, make some sort of adjustment and it looks like that's what you're waiting on if this is a romantic partner you're waiting on them to recognize that a change needs to occur within them you're taking care of yourself but you're waiting for them to recognize a change needs to occur within them if you are not in a relationship but you are moving towards somebody you are leaving behind this manipulative energy and you're waiting to overcome whatever kind of emotions have occurred as a result of that. If you are dealing with a job situation, you're waiting on the person who's been giving you struggles 
to finally see the light or to be moved to a new department, a new team, etc., in order for you to have this new beginning. Either way, you have a new beginning coming. All right, let's get some additional cards on this, please. Page of materials, an apology may be coming your way. That might be what you're waiting on, the apology. Or you may be waiting to offer something to somebody else. The lovers. A decision on a partnership, although it's heartbreaking, I do feel that somebody is moving forward. This is success. Success over difficult emotions. Success over financial financial situations, success over romantic partnerships, success over business partnerships, workmates, etc. There is success, although it is difficult and it feels hopeless right now, there will be a sense of success. You just need to, to hold on to hope, Aries, because this is moving forward. It's moving forward. Release any negative thoughts and emotions you may have. Um, don't if you've got somebody in your environment that's spying, try not to give in to their energy. There is going to be movement, but it's going to take a little bit extra time, all right? I don't see movement in November, but it looks like past November we have some forward movement. All right, Aries, love and light to you. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing allows me to connect to your energy for future readings. And I love to be able to connect with you energetically. So don't forget to hit that button. Also, please share these with your friends and family. You never know who might be in need of the message that you just heard. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Thumbs up.